Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Belton here. Just uh, giving a quick update as to what I've been working on to finish off the league here, um, as well as uh, a recent accomplishment of mine. As you guys probably know, I absolutely adore Discharge, uh, something I've been focusing on for years now, uh, close to 10 actually. Um, and so I'm a bit of a collector. On Standard, I don't really care about currency too much, but I do love Discharge items, uh, anything related to Discharge. So when, when they released the, uh, the foiled variants, um, I didn't really care to have a full collection, but I did want to um, collect as much of the historical discharge items as I could. Um, starting with uh, the original discharge bad boy, which was called Rainbow Nuke. Uh, and I actually uh, was able to finish that today. So you can see here, uh, I got the uh, Devotos, the Vols Devotion, the Shavs, Mjolnir, Saffles, Skyforth, uh, Headhunter, Acuity, and it used to use Romira's. Um, they just don't have one of those. Uh, as well, I've got some backups here. So, you know, the next one with Fakener, right? You got the Vol's Devotion. And, uh, you know, that was introduction with Death's Door and Cosprey's. Uh, we've got the Endless Misery and the Voices, the Replica Pharaoh's Fur from now. Uh, so there's probably a couple that I'm missing still. But today I was able to pick up Skyforth, Headhunter, and Vol's Devotion, which were the last three big ones I was missing. Uh, we can take a look here. We can see Headhunters are... One mirror, 400, about a mirror each. Um, I have the only pair of Skyforth. And I have the only Bulls Devotion. Offline, though, I think there's one more. Yeah, 900. So it, these are probably quite valuable in of themselves. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have that done. And I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, that little uh, homage right there to uh, to this the roots of Discharge. Um, on top of that, I have been doing some end of league investing. So uh, I would say I would categorize my recent actions as investing and as collecting. Obviously, this is on the collector side. While these do have a very, very high value, um, these are things that I just want to hold on to long term, um, you know, it, it, because I love discharge so much. Uh, on the investment side, that, that is what I like to do at the end of the league. When I think items are going to go legacy or they're not going to be obtainable anymore, um, that's what I'll start to invest into. Uh, things that are going to have a higher long-term value, either in standard or things that I think that as the league comes to an end, there might be an announcement from GGG saying they're being removed. Now, since they announced that um, the relics are being removed and that uh, the entire Sanctum mechanic uh, is being taken away, uh, I had a pretty strong inclination that uh, Original Sins might not be obtainable anymore. Now, I know Lake of Calandra, they did remove that mechanic and they added Calandra's Touch. Uh, but the reason why I think that these might not be added right away is that they're actually a reward, right? Calandra's Touch was just something that would drop out of the normal mechanic from the game, so it kind of made sense. Um, however, the original Sin is it's obtainable from accomplishing a feat. You have to do a hitless run to get it. And so if it were just added to the core drop pool, it would actually be a lot easier to get than it is right now, at least in terms of you know going there. Now, it is build enabling uh, for myself. I, you know, you can see I, I'm actually using one for my discharge build here. Um, so, you know, it, that does lend some merit to the point that they might add it to the game. However, <clears throat> if they're not adding any of the other items, uh, you know, it's a calculated risk on my side, but it is something that I think uh, either might get nerfed, not added to the game right away, um, or, uh, you know, made much more difficult to obtain. So I thought it was a good thing to invest into. Uh, if you recall last league and the league before that, a few weeks before it ended, they, you know, we've got till April 4th, I believe. Um, so they, they usually announce, you know, upcoming changes, any nerfs, whatever. And you'll see some of these items just skyrocket in price. So I, I've actually picked up uh, 10 original sins now. All of them are clean except for this one, which is actually uh, double corrupted with strength and intelligence. The strength double corruption is really, really nice here because strength stackers use this. This one's actually worth about a mirror and a half to two mirrors already. Uh, but aside from that, I have nine other clean ones. So I actually had a pretty pretty crazy day today. I was able to pick up, um, again, uh, foiled headhunter, foiled Vol's devotion, foil skyforth, and I also got three more original sins. Uh, whether or not I decide to double corrupt these towards the end of the league, we'll see. I'm going to wait until to see if there's an announcement, whether or not they're actually going core or not, or if they're going to be added, or if they're going to be nerfed or anything like that. Um, so make that decision then. But uh, I also want to let you guys know that uh, it's Saturday night now. I'm going to be gone until Wednesday of next week, so I won't be streaming or making any YouTube videos uh, for Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. Uh, so I just thought I'd check in, let you guys know what's going on. And uh, yeah, if you recall, if you watched the previous video, you'll see that I opened 180 keys. That was actually on standard. Um, this is all in League, of course. Uh, so the reason why I don't have a Mage Blood here is because I, I ended up getting one on standard when I opened 180 keys, which was uh, quite exciting. 
But um, yeah, we got still got a, a few more things to go with respect to finishing up the league. We're going to keep investing on stuff. I'll make some videos telling you guys how to do that. Um, not only to maximize your currency for standard afterwards in case you want to do any collecting. I don't actually play standard, but I do like collecting items like these just so I can log over there and have kind of like a trophy cabinet of my past achievements. Um, as well, you know, I, I like to always get 40 out of 40. As you can see here, I got quite a few totems. Um, so I started doing some challenges today. I got up to 27 of them now. Uh, and so we're going to be uh, working on that as well uh, over the upcoming weeks. Um, as well, now that we've got our Rainbow Nuke collection done, uh, as well as most of the other sort of periphery items, we're going to be largely focusing on the investment side of things. I won't exclusively go into Original Sins, but uh, we'll be doing a lot of that. Probably some synthesis stuff. Uh, I still have six Original Mirror items. Uh, the best elemental bow ever created in the game you know the crit multi power charge onslaught 61 uh dex aimed ellie weakness on hit uh the mirror quiver uh the best ring ever <laughs> in my opinion and uh, of course our discharge item so we're going to be pairing those those will have a long some long-term value of course <clears throat> um and as well uh you know we'll be focusing on some of the league mechanic stuff a lot of the challenges i have remaining are things to do with sanctum as i've only completed a few of those I, in fact i actually haven't even finished all my favorited maps yet so still a lot to go throughout the league uh, i know a lot of people have probably quit at this point but uh one of the great joys i have with this game is, is playing it throughout the course of each league so for those of you who are interested uh keep in, you know uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll have a lot more uh, league related content and i just wanted to give you guys an update and uh yeah, share share a cool moment for me because this is uh, I love discharge and I, you know this was as soon as I saw these foils were coming out this was definitely something I wanted to do, um, especially because of how rare the voles and uh, uh, things like headhunter and stuff are. So pretty happy about that and I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. And I know it's just kind of an update, but uh, let me know what you guys are up to if you're still playing the game, what you guys are focusing on because I'd be interested to see what other people are doing as well. Uh, I know a lot of people don't uh, typically play this late into the league, but I'm always uh, always interested to hear about those who are. So. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, until I see you next week, uh, it'll be Wednesday morning, I'll be back. Uh, happy hunting, and uh, stay wealthy, exiles. Peace.